Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from the Zawa server and check it out. I'm rocking my original skin again. I'm back to looking like just the Grim Reaper. I decided to change it back. Just it's been a while. I, call, I like the rocket, uh, the, t uh, the rocket ink outfit that I was rocking for uh, for Pixmon Revolution. But um, I decided to go back to the original, the old school me. All right, so uh, in between episodes, I've been doing some work. Check it out. Bam! It's the aquarium. Now, I got the light blue terracotta for the uh, upper color, and I did my stone pattern, similar to what I did here on the uh, the reptile exhibit. I said I was going to do that, and I did it. I didn't copy the green over, though, because I wanted this to be an aquarium. So it's supposed to be kind of like light blue, kind of like the chlorine color of pools, you know? I was kind of going for that. Yeah, I mean, light blue terracotta looks more like lavender, but eh, I think it works. I kind of like it. Now... There is one thing that I don't like, and that's that, okay? Aquarium. I spelt it on there. I got the banners up. I, I sheared a bunch of sheep to do that. I did I did some stuff. Um, it sucks. <laughs> that's the best way to put it. I, I put it up there. I stood back here, and I looked at it, and I was like, yeah, that's really tiny. That's that's. It needs to be bigger is what it needs to be. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to spell out aquarium real fast with blocks. I'm thinking like white terracotta I might use because I grabbed a stack of that. I also got some more someplace. I just got to find it. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to try to spell out aquarium. Oh yeah, okay. So that that's a lot better. That's that's better. <laughs> that uh, those signs, those uh, those banners did not really. These guys, they they didn't work so well. Uh, they actually were <laughs> really bad. <laughs> All right. So now that we got that that done on there, now the outside of this building still needs a lot of work as far as like the foliage and the grass and stuff needs to be put in. It's just the bare basics. Let's go take a peek inside. When you come over here, I haven't even done the path. I literally did the walls. That's about it. And that took a while because I had to go get more terracotta. Here's the entrance way, and there's a skeleton. We already have a visitor, and pop, got him. Um, and then, ooh, there is somebody else too. Ooh, dude, dude, that was a creeper. I just like kind of fudged my huggies right there just a little bit. Okay, so I need to put lights up there or our mob proof that's in some way. Let's just do some basic stuff right now, and I'll fix that in a little bit. Um, I have lights on the next side of this, right? Okay, yeah, because there there were totally mobs spawning in here. I'm gonna have to do some serious work to try to <laughs> try to <laughs> try to fix this. Ugh, sorry, heart rate. Big deep breaths. I don't even have a heart. Look at this. I just have a chest cavity. Um, okay, so. For, wow, there's a lot of mobs over here. Oh, I think that's because there's actually like a cave underneath here, technically. Okay, I saw it on the map. Yeah, you can hear them. Oh, well, I'll, I'll worry about them later. Uh, in today's episode, though, I do want to work on the inside of this. Uh, before I continue, though, let me ask you guys, how are you guys doing? Are you having a good Friday? I had an exhausting Friday. I've, I've had a hard week at work. I'm actually pretty tired. My legs hurt. My hands hurt. Everything hurts. It sucks when you get older. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm a little tired. So if I sound a little drowsy, that's because I am tired. But don't you guys worry. I got some coffee here. And I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm good to go. All right. So what we're going to be doing in today's episode is we're going to be doing the dolphins. We're going to be doing the dolphins exhibit here. Okay. Now I've done a dolphin exhibit before. And well, I mean that I didn't, uh, that didn't turn out so well. Um, we had to do a funeral <laughs> because uh, the dolphin died. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, remember Flipper, the, uh, the Amazon River Dolphin, uh, a species I have not gotten back because that was the only one that I had uh, that died. But the two other dolphins, winter and summer, are still alive. Uh, and they need a place to stay. And right here is where I'm going to be putting them. I'm going to be putting them right in this area. Obviously, i got to do the floor still because this is going to be the ground floor. Man, these things are really nice. i got to find these things and get rid of them. But... Uh, uh, this is going to be the ground floor, and then what I'm thinking and what I described in the last episode was, like, a, uh, well, actually, I, I was talking about, like, having a, a curved piece of glass or maybe just a 90-degree piece of glass that you could stand in and you could see it, but what I'm really thinking now is, 
<laughs> is uh is having it extend over this a little bit and then having maybe another support beam over here or something to kind of hold everything in place uh, this area up here not pressed up against this glass i need this to stay open the way it is that you can see in here and see willie hi willie um but having it extend over and then giving them more room to swim either on top or down the side maybe having the glass come down right here just like one block over and then on top going across as well i think i might like that a little bit better uh i do have to get some things ready for that obviously but i am going to put like an actual like exhibit in here unlike what i did with willie here where this is straight up a pool this is where he lives is in a pool this one is going to have some some you know some stuff from the bottom of the ocean courtesy of maddie right here telling me this long a long time ago right here <laughs> they must be planted on gravel so i'm going to be adding some of that stuff to the exhibit as well making an actual landscape if I can. Maybe even taking a shot at putting like a miniaturized little shipwreck in here or something I think would look pretty cool. But that's 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 a lofty goal. I'm not sure if I can do that. So I'm gonna go grab some glass and kind of outline where I want this to be. And then we're gonna get to work on building. Oh, I found the zombies. So I went ahead and laid out kind of like the frame for where I want the glass to go. Because I'm going to actually have that set like right in here. Like like that. And that should create a nice little aquarium for these uh, these two dolphins to swim around in. Actually, it's a pretty big aquarium for just two dolphins. But, you know, it's going to be worth it. They had some traumatic experiences when they watched uh, Flipper just uh, like stab itself on that fence back in the day. I've had only two accidents here at Wildwood that resulted in the animal's death. Uh, considering that, uh, I usually build things kind of crazy, that's kind of a good, that's, that's pretty good. That's not a, not a bad, uh, bad number. But this one, I'm hoping to make it so that they, they don't die. Now, I do not know, well, I mean, I, I know in real life that dolphins need air, like they're mammals, they're, they're, they're not actually, uh, they're not actually, they don't have gills, you know, so, um, but I do not know if these dolphins need air. <laughs> so, what I, I've got to do is uh, I've got to take a guess, and I'm gonna say probably. If the the real dolphins, or the dolphins in um, in vanilla Minecraft uh, need air, I'm gonna guess that these probably do too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend this out a little bit, probably right here, That's I'm just guessing there, but I'm guessing that's probably, let's back it up actually one more, right there. And that's where we're gonna extend this to. Let's go here and bring this down, like so, all right? And then this is gonna be the extension for their, um, for their exhibit, it's gonna go all over this. Oh, look at that, I had perfect amount and I screwed it up, I misclicked one, awesome, all right. So this is the extension for their exhibit, so they could actually swim above this area as well. Now, do I wanna do the same thing? If I do the same thing with the outline with the stone here, we're looking at that, we can cover it, so we're looking at one, two, only three gaps placed where you can see, I guess that's not bad, it could look kinda of cool, but to do that, we're gonna to have to do like that, and I'm going to definitely need more smooth stone to do this. Okay, I think that's all I need to uh, outline actually for the glass. Uh, now that I have this done here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in right here with glass. Now this will be the ceiling actually for the uh, the area down below. Uh, that way you can look up and you can see the the dolphins swimming above you as well. And then there'll be a lot of glass surrounding this thing because I intend on filling this up with water almost to the top. Like uh, there's gonna be glass in here also, like right in here, and it's gonna go to right there. So maybe even one more block up. So there'll be a block of air and a couple blocks of air. So yeah, maybe I will go to right here. That way they'll give the dolphins room to jump around. They might actually jump up and smash their heads into the ceiling. I just thought about that. But I don't think that's actually going to hurt them. Although the last dolphin exhibit I built, I didn't think anything was going to hurt them in that one either. And well, that's now the shark exhibit. So <laughs> um, hopefully everything's fine though. I just have to get the glass in here and then I can start worrying about filling this area in. I might actually... 
only fill in a portion of it and then get to work on the decorating on the bottom of this thing or maybe i'll actually well no no i think I'll, i think i'm gonna fill it in it's probably gonna be easier to fill it in and then work a little underwater than it is to uh uh leave it the way it is and try to fill the water in around all the decorations that might be a little problematic for me to uh fill this in though i am gonna need to actually work on the ground at least and get the ground the way that I want it. It's like, ah, uh, gonna get dark in here though, because it is turning sunset. And I mean, I guess I'll sleep so things don't spawn outside. But I do need to work on the, the ground in here because I'm gonna need a lot of gravel if I'm gonna be putting a lot of like coral and whatnot in here. Um, and I'm going to need to figure out what else I wanna put down here. I don't know if there's, I, we can't waterlog blocks, unfortunately. So everything I build in here has to be solid blocks. I can't do fences or anything like that, so. Uh, I gotta keep that in, in consideration when I'm actually designing what I want to put in here. So I'm gonna put down quite a bit of gravel spots actually because then that way I can actually put some plant life in here. Like so. Um, I don't know what else can be planted. According to that sign that Maddie left me, that was actually a grass block there. According to that sign that Maddie plant, uh, gave me, or left back there, that only, uh, only things can be planted on gravel. So I'm probably gonna have to be doing a lot of that thinking something like this should be fine we don't need that flower around here we shan't be needing that so <laughs> all right uh and then the rest is gonna be like dirt and coarse dirt and stuff in fact let's get a little bit of this made here with the remaining bits that i have um uh, actually let's go ahead and what do i need i need eight pieces so one two three four five six seven break these down into dirt all right just adding in the coarse dirt here in various places um that way it'll look kind of like it's that like it doesn't make sense to have grass growing down here you know because this is supposed to be underwater and unless it's seagrass there's not supposed to be really grass down here so hopefully a lot of this grass dies off once i flood the area and then the rest of this stuff will uh will look like it's kind of dead already with the um with this uh that i'm putting the stuff i'm putting down right now the coarse dirt so hopefully that should be about it. I got three more pieces I gotta squeeze in here someplace. And I think I'll drop them in. Oh, look at that. I dug too deep. I think I'll drop them in right here. And last one went right there. Perfect. All right. That should be good enough. Now, the rest of the stuff, I guess I can add like stone. Um, I have a backpack. I have a lot of backpacks, but I have a backpack around here. That's the one with glass in it that has a bunch of stone in it. Not that one. That's definitely not it. Aha! Found it. All right. Let's go ahead and grab these eight bits of andesite. Also, while we're at it, grab the stone here, and we're going to start putting this in places. Now, it did just dawn on me. I can actually add a little bit of elevation change to this, so I don't actually have to just keep this flat. I can actually bring this up a little bit, like in the back, just, eh, just in one spot. I don't really want to go too overboard with that, though because, um, like I said, I do want to try to add some decoration in here, but I think that making this stick up off the ground just a wee bit should actually work out pretty good. Let's actually bring that this way, like so. Let's see, what does that look like? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not, not terrible, not the worst thing ever. Let's go ahead and add in some dirt in here, and those should fill in the rest of the spots like I said, i'm hoping the grass dies I'm, I'm really hoping the grass dies when i when i do this now i do have some of these mixed mossy stones wouldn't mind throwing this in here as well in various places and then i guess the final touch is i'll actually sprinkle in a little bit of cobblestone into the bottom of this as well i don't mind this part here being raised up off the ground just a little bit but i guess i am going to have to add maybe some gravel into it in places nothing too heavy actually just because i want to i want to try to keep it pretty much dirt uh, if I can. The, the real change is going to be down here. Um, so I don't really want to go too crazy on it. I'm not very familiar with underwater builds, so this is definitely definitely pushing me to the limit when it comes to creativity, trying to get this thing to make sense and work. Uh, I think a rock pile would be a good thing to add in here as well. So let's go ahead and throw one of those things in like right here in the corner. And I'm going to need, I'm going to need more space. One, I got a bunch of these slabs in my inventory. I can probably chuck all of those because I don't really need them. I really don't need this flower, but I'll throw that in there for right now. Um, I'm going to need uh, some slabs. I left, yeah, I left my crafting bench out there. Let me just kind of bust through the wall right here. Uh, normally, I would just use the crafting bench inside my backpack, but my backpack is an absolute nightmare and uh, no room in there. Um, the crafting bench is being used for room. Oh, I got it. Uh, I just remembered. I got to use whole whole pieces in here because of the 
the water going in here, so I can't really do half slabs, so I'm gonna have to try to jazz this up with regular stone the best that I can. Which might just be this. Let's go ahead and sprinkle in some gravel in here as well. I have more of this stuff, don't I, someplace? Gravel? Yes, I do right here. Hot. Right. Awesome. Perfect. Now I can also use things like uh like the uh, leaf blocks and stuff underwater. They might look a little weird once the water actually starts flowing in here, but uh, it should work out okay. Uh, I think they kind of look like they still have air in them, so it kind of does look a little weird. But if I use them sparingly, mainly away from the glass farther back, I think that it should look fine. Uh, so I'm probably gonna sprinkle in a few of those along the back, maybe to go up the back wall to kind of look like it's uh, like it's kelp growing up the back, or vines, algae maybe. I think that'll look pretty good. Now, I don't actually plan on doing anything on the on, uh, above here. I'm just planning on putting water in, because that's where they're going to be swimming. Let's, uh, let's actually go and see if we can't squeeze in a couple of these things. Jungle leaves. Actually, you know which ones would look really good is the willow leaves, if I have those on me someplace. Where are those things? Here we go. Willow leaves. These things already kind of look like they're slimy and stringy, so let's go ahead and add a couple of these kind of going up the back, like so. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna look weird once uh once the water flows in there. So we'll try to keep it a little mellow here, and maybe we'll actually replace a little bit of this in the ground with it as well. Now I should actually put lights in here because it's gonna be kind of dark, and these things provide a great opportunity for me to do that. Let me go grab some glowstone real fast. I'm back with the glowstone, but I see a blip on the radar. I didn't light it up over there. So what is this thing? It's a skeleton. Okay. Go ahead and sneak in here and pop, kill him. All right, so I didn't want to have it be a creeper and walk around and just have that thing fall down on me and it would have been bad news bears. Uh, okay, so now I got this glowstone here. I got a couple pieces here. I didn't have to go too overboard with it. And I kind of want to put this down under here, like so. All right, so then I can put that on top of it. Should light up the area back here. It, it'll probably show off the, uh, the awkwardness of the... Um, the leaf blocks with the air pockets and stuff, but you know what? That's okay. I'm just gonna leave it. I think it's gonna be fine. I think that looks too cool not to actually incorporate that. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about it like too bad. Um, maybe put one back here as well, like so. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Now I do want to add like a couple of bits just stuck on the wall, like so. I got nothing too fancy. Almost like like it's LG that's kind of stuck there. You know what I mean? So. Like that, awesome. Okay, so I'm thinking that's about all I gotta do there. Let's get rid of this torch too. I'm gonna start knocking out the torches and see what the lighting looks like in here as of right now. And I wouldn't mind actually squeezing in another light source somewhere a little bit closer up front. So we're gonna do that as well, like that. And I might have to put a couple of these in places without a light source so that it kinda makes sense why some of these things are even on the ground. Kinda blend it in a little bit. Like this. This actually is starting to look really grimy. <laughs> well, let me, let me remove that. I don't know if I'm going to go too much overboard on that. I think this this is enough. Let's start, let's start getting some of these plants that Maddie left me here months ago put in. Uh, let's go take a power nap real fast, and then I'll do that. I'm taking all of them. I'm literally taking all of them. I don't know what else I can get in here or what, what not. Now, I do actually need water in here now before I continue, so I do have to get around to doing that. Let's go ahead, and we're going to do like the first, uh, the first layer for right now. Do the first layer for right now, and we'll add some color to that, and then just throw that down right there, and then uh, then we'll see where we go can go from there. Uh, we can grab some water from here. Um, hopefully this turns out good. I mean, I'm I'm a little nervous. Okay, so I do have that backpack on that gives me night vision and water, so it's a little bright while I'm standing in here. But I'm gonna go ahead and squirt in all this water here, fill in this area the best I can, and then we'll see what we can do with this uh, these coral pieces. You know what? I'm gonna have to just fill in this fill in this whole tank. I think I'm gonna have to fill this up at least to the the first wood line right there. Water is filled up to a point where I can actually get to work on uh, some of the stuff down here. Now we are underwater, and this is what I'm talking about with that being able to see like like uh, air through it kind of thing. It, it it doesn't really ever work out right whenever you use leaves underwater. It actually worked out pretty good on the ground here. I'm kind of surprised at that, but that's okay. I'm just gonna, I mean, I can't, it's Minecraft. You gotta work with what you got. So now let's go ahead and I also added another little rock pile right here, but let's go ahead and sprinkle in a little bit of color into this place here. Kind of make it pop a little bit uh, better here. Let's go ahead and put a couple of them down. 
Make one of these guys. I'm gonna just spread these things out a little bit so that I get a little diversity here with the color. Uh, and then I got some purples here. We're gonna put a couple of purples in here. One right in front, why not? And then right over there in the, on the side in front. And then we got some kelp. Let's put the red or the pink coral in here as well. Put one right there. Uh, I can't. Put, oh, I can put it on that. Nifty. I guess that's because that's coarse dirt. That's good to know. Uh, let's go back there. Good, good. All right. So now I have algae and kelp. Now kelp, I think. Yeah. Can you? Can you? Is this thing? Does this grow? Maybe. I'll see what happens with that. <laughs> I'll try to add another one like right in here or something like that, but I, if, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit because it, if it, well, I mean, I guess I got a half a stack of it. If it grows, it grows, and if it doesn't, whatever. So it doesn't really matter. All right, then algae, let's get some algae put in here as well. Oh, I'd really like to be able to put that on some of the rocks right there. I guess I could replace this with gravel and then I could do that because yeah, I can put it right there. I can put it on dirt, regular dirt though, so. Oops, I just uh, replaced one there. Whatever, it's gone forever now. <laughs> uh. That way we can get a little bit of grass in here, almost like there's like some seabeds kind of thing. I guess there probably is seagrass, come to think of it. But not being able to use half blocks really limits me. I'm, I'm struggling to find uh, find my groove with this. Now these these places are not dying like I was hoping they would. I guess maybe it might take a little bit, or maybe there's just enough light on the side that they're not going to. I guess you know what I could do? Just punch them out and then just replace them. All right, I am out of the algae, so that's uh, that's about as good as I'm going to get. Now, I think that's about it. I think that's really all I can do. I was thinking about putting a shipwreck in here, but there's not a lot of space to really put, because if I did, I'd put it, like, maybe right here. And there is really not a lot of space to put that, so I think I'm going to pass on the shipwreck idea. I think I'm just going to leave it as it is, which means that this place is basically done, I'm thinking, as far as the inside. I just have to fill the water up throughout this whole thing, so... Whew. All right, let's start dumping some water. It is all filled in. Now, there is this area up here that uh, obviously is not filled in. And when I hop out of the water, you see that flash of dark right there? Let me, yeah, let me actually see if I can't slap down something and get up here. Actually, I can't get up right there. Hold on. Let me go right here. This, it's kind of dark up here, okay? It's a little dark. All right, so because of the, the night vision that I have when I hit the water, that's the reason why I'm able to see what's going on down here. But I don't really like how dark it is up here. So let's, uh, let's get the chisel out here. I still have a couple pieces of glowstone. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can turn this into that might look rather interesting. I think this neon panel or neon will look just fine. Mm -hmm. Ornate would kind of be nice. I guess I don't really need anything too fancy. I think the bismuth tile is or bismuth uh, is what I have inside of the uh, reptile center. So let's just uh, let's like let's take two of them for example. Now, oh, I put six in there. Let's take two of them, for example. Let's change them to this bismuth here real quick. And now I want to put these hanging up here, uh, preferably on some sort of... Oh, boy, do I have a backpack that's not, like, full of stuff? This one, perfect. So, uh, preferably on some sort of uh, support beam of some kind. So, I think that spruce fences should work just fine for this. Uh, let's do something like that. I, I just need a couple of them. Nothing too fancy. And let's, uh, the middle is like roughly here, so let's go off to the side a little bit, like right there, and maybe another one right, right here. Okay, and uh, this is going to be the glowstone. Oh, you know what? I see a problem. Yeah, now, the, here's the problem, all right? The dolphins are going to try to kill themselves. <laughs> and if they land right in, because I think they're one block tall, if they land right on top of this glowstone, they could totally suffocate and die right here. So, let's get rid of the fence posts. And let's replace them with just straight up logs coming down. Just like that. Okay, I really don't feel like having the dolphins die in here. Now, I cannot see a spot where they're going to die. Uh, so hopefully they don't. But this, I think, concludes the dolphin exhibit in here. I just have to add them, actually. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, we already have names for these guys, remember? This is winter and summer. Uh, they were named by you guys a while ago, but then, you know... Flipper killed himself on the uh, on the fence, and yeah, well, you know, you know the rest of the hi. Okay, so apparently mobs can still spawn in here, so I'm gonna definitely need to do some mob proofing in this area. So let's go out over here. It's definitely gonna flood the area a bit too, but that's okay. Pop this out like so, and then let's go ahead and replace that. Oh, I need to get the dolphins in there. Hold on one second. Let me deal with this mob real fast. Oh, I'm in the I'm in the pool again on accident. And goodbye. Oh, no, you're still alive. Now you're not. 
All right, so I definitely need to do some uh, mob proofing over here for sure. Let's go ahead and slap some torches down right now just to prevent the spawns from happening. Uh, for now, I'll, I'll pretty this up later. Um, I just don't want them to kill everything. So, all right, let's go ahead and get the uh, dolphins in here now. So summer and winter. So winter is coming right about now. And it was summer as well. There they are. Bottom of those dolphins. Now I got to swim back here, quickly get the glass out. I don't want them swimming out here and getting free. Let's go ahead and plug that up. And there they go. There they are. Oh, there's a little water draining down here, but I guess that's fine. <laughs> It's fine. There might be a leak in the tank. Okay, so they are jumping out of the water up there, but there's no place for them to get stuck on. All right, they, I did, it's all just a ceiling and then flat edges going straight down. There's no, oh, that's a little, okay. I'm gonna have to fix that. I don't like that at all. So this is the dolphin exhibit. And I think it's, I think it's basically complete. Let me go sleep real quick because uh, it's, to, oh, it's sunrise now. So I kind of, there's gonna be a lot of things that spawn. Let me, yeah, uh, let me fly out. Actually, let me doze real fast. Fly out here. Get rid of all the spawns. That way I don't have to go worry about getting blown up. And then we'll do a final look at this place. Alright, all the mobs have mysteriously disappeared. That's the beauty of just leaving the area and coming back. All of them despawn. So this should be it. This should be the thing. There's the dolphins in there. You can see them still. It is kind of dark on the back wall. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty dark back there. I'm trying to think about maybe I should be adding some lights or something back there. Uh, in fact, I should... Oh, see. <laughs> I can get back in there and fix the LG. Alright, so I think that's it. I think that is it that I mean the lighting isn't great I'll probably get back in there and add more lighting under the ground and stuff to get a little brighter in there as well as try to figure out some way of putting lights on the back wall because you can barely see these things this is daytime right now this is when it's supposed to be the brightest I mean obviously inside doesn't really matter because the sunlight's not hitting maybe that's something I could do I could probably add sunlights and put glass you know I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna do that right this second add sunlights and glass and see what that does soft landing all right <laughs> let's uh let's knock the oh he's right there jeepers criminies all right let's uh let's <laughs> oh my freaking uh my axe went in here i hate it's one thing i don't like about this mod pack is that if you shift like so that you don't fall off a, a ledge or something and then you scroll wheel to get to something else your stuff goes right into your backpack uh which i'm not a big fan of all right, so let's go ahead and add in a few of these lights along the back side here and see if, or uh, skylights, and let's see if that actually lightens things up a little bit, which, it, I mean, it definitely will. Okay, yeah, that definitely helped out quite a bit. In fact, I kind of, I think I centered them pretty good. They can go out one in either direction. I think uh, both of them can. That one might be one space a little too, too close. If I push them out one in either direction, that should be good enough, and it should provide enough light in here, especially during the day where you can actually see what's going on in there. Better than what it was before anyway, so... All right, I think that's I think that's all I'm gonna do though for this one Maybe like I said, I might fix the windows a little bit off camera I also want to do a little bit of work uh, around this building off camera too uh, Just adding the foliage adding the bushes and stuff and then of course there comes uh, I gotta add the other there, there comes the problem of adding the other exhibits as well Not really a problem but the chore of adding the other exhibits as well And I also never did get up here and finish this <laughs> I never did get up here. See that, that, that uh, horizontal beam? I had said before that I didn't really like it. I want to take it down. I still do want to take it down, but I want to add other supports kind of in there. A little bit more artistic ones if I can. It's going to be a pain to get up there, though. I'll probably have to build some dirt scaffolding or whatever just, just to get that done. But this has worked out a lot better than uh, than I, I thought it was going to, actually. The, the aquarium sign up front, obviously, I did not like that one. And we replaced it. It looks a lot better now. You can see a dolphin tail sticking out of that wall back there. That's a little weird. But, all right, you guys, I think I'm going to wrap this episode up, though. So if you did enjoy it, please go down and smash that like button. And thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. Uh, I will be back uh, from the Zawa server next week. So thanks again for watching, everybody. And bye-bye.